All right, guys. Um, as promised, we continue. All right, guys. As promised, we continue with our conversation or with our reaction, relating to podcast and chill. The episode with um, uh, pen and the black pen. Uh, thank you for the reaction for our last video. The traction was good, guys. I think that's the most views we've had since we started the channel. So please continue. Just co remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell and the like button. Comment whatever comments you wish. Uh, we could like uh, reply back to. Or whatever you think about these reactions or what he says what what whatsoever you feel it's in your mind just make sure that you view it out so that the engagements could like could grow and stuff but last we ended up when he was starting to explain about his religion so that's where we are going to pick up straight from uh today going forward so let's just uh, get straight to the video and yeah please just continue to uh, uh engage with the channel and it really really helps so let's just continue thank you so religion my religion first and foremost has got 30 principles currently and i'm probably want to work on them because the bible was also a work in progress up until a certain point that's why this gospel is written by different niggas <laughs> the first one is own your mind which is literally become a critical thinker Thinking has almost become a crime. Yeah, yo, no. yeah, yeah. Yo, you know? yeah, yeah. Independent yeah, thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Having your own, own opinion. opinion. Yo, this is the, the, the how popular, dare you? This is the popular opinion. Yo, how dare oh, you? Oh, fucking hell. She heard mentality. Yeah. So, Fuck. So, um, so, um, so it's be a critical yeah. thinker. We saw what happened with COVID. You wouldn't think stuff like that would still happen now, but it's still happening where literally people get muzzled. And, and, and it's not about being right or wrong. It's about, it's about being right having right. your own Just, opinion. That's all. Mm. I'm not sure about this transgender thing. Oh my gosh, she's transphobic. Oh my I can't God. just say something. Again, just this anything, goes to guys. Like, give me this latest and thing. Shout out to Dave Chappelle, guys like Joe Rogan, because they are still fighting for free speech. Yeah. You may not like what I have to say. It doesn't matter. But if I don't say it, there's a chance that the majority of the people, because I'll tell you now, South Africans are homophobic. The majority are homophobic. The majority are arguably xenophobic, um, very sexist. But you can't say it because the politicians and the media and the brands are like, no, we're very inclusive. It's a lie. But if, if we were to have the conversation, we could actually educate the homophobes and the xenophobes yes. and make them understand why their thinking is wrong. Yeah. But as long as we don't speak to them, just like white racists. You if you attack a white racist, it. if you attack a white racist, instead of engaging you, they go away into their corner and they become more racist. Yeah, You're like yes. breeding a virus in the dark. Mm. Yo, guys, yo, guys. I like, I can't emphasize this point enough to say, like, South Africa, I think it's just that I'm, I haven't been in much countries outside of South Africa and Switzerland. But I think, I think currently, South Africa is one of the countries with the worst racism ever, guys. Like, as much as we are saying we are the rainbow nation, which actually translates to say we, even though we, we are different, but we work together, we come together, we con concili conciliate, I think that's the term. South Africa is far from that, guys. South Africa is far from that. Yes, maybe in the uh, more or, uh, developed parts of South Africa, Johannesburg, and, and so on and so on, you can find that uh, harmony and that interaction between different races. But in the more up diverse and the more outward spaces of the country, guys, South Africa is so racist, like literally racist. And when I'm saying South Africa is not is so racist, I'm not attacking particularly white or oh, I'm not attacking particularly blacks because uh, usually <clears throat> when people think about racism, they think of the different skin color from them. If I'm white, if I'm thinking of racism, I think of black racism. And if I'm black, I think of uh, white racism. So to me, whenever a person 
speaks of racism because I'm black, I would think of white people and stuff. Like I would from both ends of the spectrum, these people do not literally, literally do not want each other. They know that we have to work together because we can't like achieve some stuff as individuals like that so that's when you find them coming together and working together but still even in those spaces where they are together they are still so racist with each other you could literally like racism is so physical in this country you could literally cut it with a knife man like it's so physically viewable like that but it's bad like literally bad if you come to uh, a space like agriculture you could see that in terms of leadership and the uh, and the office business it's full of whites and the blacks are just general workers and going uh, they're just below and going down then when you get to politics it's blacks uh, 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 and their own families then white people i i, I if they don't even like uh come they even if a white person were to run for a particular office in this country it's 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 war man like people are like yeah this person is taking us back to apartheid and also, i'm not saying they wouldn't do that and stuff but it's wrong if we are saying we go with democracy and the understanding of what we say we go with it's wrong to judge a person without actually understanding their uh, intentions and stuff like that but yeah they do not even give a person a chance like that when it comes to racism, racism is so real in this country and i so wish that someday something could be done about it but yeah let's continue with the video guys you know what i mean so i'm saying open it up and let's chat and let's see how it goes um critical thinking is one of them another one is transcending gender race nationality i call it animalism which means finding the animal in a person and not just looking at the outer surface. Huh. Part of them is things like intentional parenting, which we've kind of lost. We've outsourced parenting, which is like one of the most important jobs you'll ever have to the systems. Let the school Literally. dictate how you think. YouTube. Let the politicians, let YouTube. Let, let, yes, you know what yes. I mean? Yes. Um, part of it is about leadership. Part of it is about taking care of your body. Understanding that your body is the only real asset you'll ever own. Yeah. Ever. Not money, not property, not anything. This is your transport, your weapon, your computer, your whatever. This is it. You're born with this, you doubt. It's the only thing you'll ever have until you die. So taking care of your body. And more than anything, um, it is a cult. You know, I love owning definitions, by the way. Um, And I study definitions. So it is a cult because I'm a figure in charge of a belief system and it's centered around me sure but i think it's time for newer cults it's time for good cults it's it's time for you know jesus was a cult figure himself that's why he was murdered do people follow your your, your... cult then if jesus was a cult figure because christ christianity is from christ right yeah so you is christianity coming from the nigga's surname yeah yeah is christianity a cult so cult plus time equals religion. So I can almost never be a religion now, officially, if you study history. Mm. I'll become a religion later. You're a cult after I'm for dead. now. I'm a cult uh. for now. That's why Jesus was murdered. He was a cult of 12 initially with, yeah. the, with the apostles. 12 dumb chiller niggas who were just like, hey, dog, let's smoke shit and we'll see the people. And that's why I told them. They went and they influenced the world. Nigga got killed and people are like, nah, this is fucking bullshit. They assassinated just, Park. Like, I, I, just imagine how this guy makes references of Jesus like he's not afraid of him. I'm not saying he should be because like he clearly doesn't believe in Jesus and in Christianity for that matter, even though I do. But there, uh, and I, I feel, guys, to say this shouldn't be a reason why you stay away from conversation. It's like it's like you are being faced with um, a certain threat in your life. And you like, instead of doing anything and everything within my power to make sure that I confront that threat head on and understand and so that I could come up with a strategic way of how to uh, uh, overcome that threat, you'll be like, I don't want to even hear about it. I'll just stay away and then i'll just crawl into my own corner there and just do me and what that because you know what would happen you you 
might like crawl into your corner and stay away there. The person will gain dominance in that space they, they are in. And they would come into that corner to claim that corner and then they would have grown too big and suffered it. So like if there's anything we've learned from education, guys, that if we've got a threat, regardless of how much you might hate that threat and suffer it, but you need to find a way to understand it. So Penway is just, I'm saying, because that guy, is, is, he has a different way of thinking from us as Christian. So instead of be like, do not listen to that guy, not to chat and stuff like that. Because one thing for sure you know that if people warn you about something, it builds curiosity inside you to say, why are they saying you shouldn't listen to the guy? Then you'd start listening to the guy. And if parents tell, tell their parents, do not listen to Penuel, he's wrong, and he's going to change your mind and stuff like that, the, the kids will be curious about him and they actually in their corners, Go and, 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 and listen to a guy and he might find a chance to turn them against you and you'll regret it. So give them the, the platform to say, listen to the guy. Then, but here's the story. Here's my story. Here's his, his, his story. Then make your decision in the middle. Give them the ability to think for themselves, to be themselves and stuff like that. But parents, I feel like they want to keep and shield children from the world and and. You could never do that because at the end of the day, these people live in the world. But yeah, let's continue. Fuck with Puck. No, I fucking love Tupac. And all of a sudden, a hundred years later, people are like, no, I believe in the belief system of Tupac and what he stood for and liberating the black man. And you're like, but that nigga was a fucking, you know? So it, it's literally that. So if Jesus was, if Christianity started as a cult, then Jesus is not the son of God. And him walking in water was somewhat of a, an optical illusion, a trick, or some trickery, and him making turning fish and bread into. Because uh, then, if you take him, if you if you unguard him, you're, then you're everything godly he did is 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 a lie. Then you're going to hell, and you must. No, I'm salvation. questioning. I'm questioning. <laughs> you must. No, I'm oh, questioning salvation. you. Because then, no, you're right, if you're it right. was just a, a human, well, I can't turn uh, two fish into two thousand or whatever number. I you can't can. walk on water. I can't walk on water. You can. How can I walk on water? No, it's fine. So, so you're right. Um, the reason why I am important and the reason why people like me are important is because we're shaking minds in a very uncomfortable way that they've never been shaken in before. Getting you to actually literally question things like, why do we celebrate Christmas and a fat Santa with snow when there's no snow here and we don't have reindeers? Like, this is actually not a normal African holiday. It's for people that have snow at that time. That's why even now we're trying to bring back African New Year to be in September, which is spring for us. Because the current calendar we have, the Gregorian calendar, is in line with other belief systems mm -hmm. elsewhere. Mm. The, the world Roman. that we live in, going back to unpacking um, the world and what I'm fascinated about as a, as a nerd. We are chimpanzees, basically. Uh, I don't really believe in evolution theory, but I'm trying to paint a picture. We are chimpanzees that at some point found a way to communicate outside of just basic pass me the banana, what, what, you know. We found a way to collaborate in how we communicate. You fetch the bananas, I'll fetch the grandeur gin, and then we'll fucking meet up and have a fucking banana and grandeur party. And then we learned f ways to communicate, whether it's book, printing, the internet, so that other chimps in the fucking UK in Manchester... <laughs> can find out, fuck, there's a fucking banana and grandeur party coming hosted in Manchester, you know? So we became that. And in doing that, we came up with concepts like clothing. If my hair is not strong enough, but I'm cold, I can get clothing. And, 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 and. Fundamentally where we are now, so those are basics. Clothing, shelter, we don't live in caves. The food we eat is processed, the meds, because we collaborated as scientists. But where we are now is we live in some type of a fiction where there's real things that we're drinking. But then there's story which then colonizes your mind, telling you your Zulu, your Venda, your I'm Venda, but my dick is not that big. So maybe I'm not really Venda because that's just a story. So people have told stories and one of the greatest stories ever told is the Bible. And just like Bitcoin, you need enough people to bind to the same story for it to become real. No one can ever validate if they were there. So a hundred years from now, Pastor Likaku or Likau, I'm not sure what his surname is. 
There's that pastor who resurrected a guy from the dead. Oh, Alf Lekau. Alf Lekau. Oh, yeah, yeah, Alf Lekau, yeah. yeah. You would know, guy. Ghost Lady. You would know. <laughs> Vendor guy. Congolese guy, yeah? Jesus. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> yes. <clears throat> Church girl. <laughs> So, so 100 years from now, if we didn't have internet, if we didn't have conspiracy theories, if we didn't have thinkers, the story would have been like there was a pastor somewhere who resurrected a dead man. And the guy literally woke up and he ate and he was shivering. True. And you're like, God, what no the fuck? To capture it, Boom. how clean he looks, Boom. how from the Vaseline, there's no <laughs> video to Boom. capture that. What is evidence to poke holes into the yeah. whole So the, 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 the Jesus story could literally mean anything. The nigga could have walked on water. He could have been a surfer. Nigga was fucking surfing there. People are like, oh, fuck. He's walking on water. Imagine if you went back in time with the cell phone and I can communicate with you and I'm like, hey, dog, I think there's a thunderstorm coming. I'm looking at the weather. And you go back in time and you tell people, guys, I think yo, my, my phone just said there's thunder oh, coming. Oh, let me and pray like, for, for rain. This and nigga's this fucking drought. insane. So and what do you that? think about uh, Upsango, my traditional uh, 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 religion, like traditional, yeah? It's going to, I said I'm... Co- so in my religion, I'm God. Uh, and I need to start by explaining that as well. Again, I wanted to say story. Story being Jesus, the money that we use, story being the laws that we have. You literally stop at a robot like a crazy person just because the law has told you. There's no car, it's unsafe at night, but there's a red light there and you're like, let me stop. It's like you're crazy. If someone from the past came to see you, they're like, why are you stopping here? No, because the laws, they've literally captured your mind. So the whole concept of a God and why I want to be God is because the idea of a God has been peddled through story and books. What is a God? No, a God is a a higher being. It's literally just story. But what that God figure can do, like a Spider-Man, like a Batman, they can tell you where you come from, where you go after you die. They control the weather. They have a plan for your life. They are the Alpha and the Omega. They care about you. They made you. And everyone believes in that. So what I want is I want to be the person that when people are like, where do we come from? Where are we going? It's like, well, Penwell says. What do you think is going to happen with, well, Penwell says. Not because I'm right, but just as an alternative voice. That's why we have so many different religions. And one of the belief systems is Ubungoma, for example. It's a belief system. Before the colonizers came with the Bible and Jesus and those things, Africans had their own belief systems. They had Unkulunkulum, Vilngangi, etc. And then we had Amadros, which are our ancestors, and they come through. You've probably never seen your great, great, great grandfather. But if we were to find a picture of him, we're like, oh, Oh, fuck, this is Mac G. Mm. How does your body know what you're supposed to look like when you come out? It's because of inherited Mm. buildup. And that's physical. Oh, you look like your mom. You look like your dad. No one ever wonders, why do you think the way you do? That's also inherited software. That's what we call Amadros. So when you say, ah, oh, my voice, I don't think I should go there, dog. Something feels funny in my gut feeling. It's literally that inherited programming of decision making. Mm. I'm scared of this. I don't know why I'm so fast, nigga. I don't know why I just love reading. It's inherited from your ancestors just as your body. If your father was a super athlete, you're like, I'm probably built like an athlete because my dad was an athlete. Mm-hmm. I'm probably smart because so do my you mom practice, used to read a lot. Do you practice Upasa and all those traditional things? Hey, I'm impressed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you practice that? Partly. I didn't think you knew partly. Jeez. Okay. Now I hear you. I he's hear from you. Park Town. That's why he's just surprised. <laughs> do, you, do you practice that? So going back to Ubungoma, and um, uh, so a God is someone who basically has the answers. Let's put it that way. Like Google is God. If you're like, I'm not really sure, ask Google. What's the weather like? Instead of praying, ask Google. Yeah. Google will tell you. So that's what I'm trying to do with my religion and just offer an alternative. That's all. Just like you part is an alternative Bro, you to Nike. Are you going to answer any of my questions? I'm going to answer you. my questions. No, no, no. He goes, 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 goes and answers it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like he's been doing that, yeah. yeah. So I don't have all the answers, but I just have my opinions. Do you, Pasha? I have my opinions which inform my religion. So when someone asks no. me, do you <clears> believe in Ubu? <throat> so I, like, I, I have, I've watched this episode several times guys so every time we get to this point not only because of this point specifically it's because i've seen this with mac g every now and then where because he doesn't want to sometimes it, it feels like he wasn't listening and then he starts to disturb the conversation and the flow of the conversation to 
to a point where even as you as we like i man can you like stop like right in the here you can literally tell that the guy doesn't like because he wants to bring the context before he can answer the question because usually a lot of messages are lost out of context because the person decided to cut away from the gist of the matter and just cut to the throat and be like okay um do you love uh, uh, do you love her more than me? Say maybe you're in a relationship. Your partner asks you, "Do you love her more than me?" And you like, yeah. So that's that's a yes or no question. But the problem is the yes and no without context. Understanding why are you saying you love the person or why do you prefer the person over you? It the message can get lost. Say you say I prefer this side of the person, not the entire person. I if I were to put both of you into uh, up to up for skate, I would always choose you. But I'm like, when it comes to this, can you please just pick up this trait so that you could thrive forward uh, together successfully like that? So the person Penway is so good at actually bringing context first before he answers what you will actually ask him so maybe he doesn't want to listen to the context and he's one person who's always uh, who's always complaining about uh, people on the internet not like getting into context and ch taking messages from clips and out of context and then after that they judge a person and all so from here i just get frustrated i i i don't hate him i met you i think he's a phenomenon like uh, a podcaster uh, presenter and stuff like that even greater than Sol Penuga himself or, or, or the contrary where a lot of people who watch podcasts and chill think that Sol Penuga is podcast podcast and chill now and whatnot. But for me I feel like Meg is just so incredible and what he does for the channel itself it no one could ever like replace him currently. But sometimes, like even if the even when it comes with the greatest athlete of the greatest men, you could like poke holes into whatever they do. So I think this is one of Mitch G, Mitch G's um, uh, lacking uh, aspects, man. Yeah. I can give you my offering of what that means for human beings. Ubungoma, for a lot of people, is basically healing through song ngoma is a song yeah a lot yeah, of it has gotten lost on, just like you love all today you'll be like but you love all is fifty thousand. Lobolo all was never money it's morphed so bungoma was healing through song and then there was singing there was uh, herbs and ikupu for example that's why you get healing through music yeah. as an example you're like fuck i was listening to this beyonce and i just started crying but we've lost that i think there is a place for stuff like that but not the way it is currently done and I do understand that once you've studied enough psychology with human beings yeah. and you have experience, if someone comes to you, Pen, I've got a prob problem with my marriage. Nice. You know, I, I have in my head some idea of what your problems may be. I can literally be like, this is oh my gosh he hit me and we don't have money uh -huh. that's just experience with human beings that's that's why scam artists are so cool oh, that's, chablile. Why, chablile. Yeah. that's why chablile that's why politicians are so powerful they've mastered human psychology yeah and you're just like oh my gosh this guy's like a prophet it's like i can kind of see your demeanor where are you from no, Pumagazul. Hey, yes, I want Pumagazul. Nyabas pela mabe bamboput. Oh fuck, yes. That's what we ain't growing up. How do you know this guy's a fucking yeah, it's genius? Obvious. It's like, no yeah, man, no. it's just experience with human beings. So, the good sangomas are the ones that are amazing at telling story, that understand human psychology like a psychologist, and that will um, prescribe certain things that feel like they heal you. Mm. That's all it is. But in terms of supernatural powers, and they can tell you what what, and they. No. So it's for, for me, it's a no. So I, I don't do the things of Upata and what, what. And part of the question about Zulu and the reason why I left Zulu, going back to the first question, being Zulu in the labels means, and Zulus can argue with me till they fucking purple in the face. Being Zulu means first and foremost, you pay homage to the Zulu king as your leader. This is my king, Umisu Zulu, by for example. By definition. Number two, yeah. you're meant to be from the land of Zulu. So if you are born in Cape Town, you're like, oh, apparently my dad says I'm fucking Zulu, bro. You are not born on the land of Guazulu. You don't see the king as your king, as your leader. 
Number two, you don't dress as Zulu's dress, where you can be like, hey, are you from India? I just saw the way you were. You don't dress as a Zulu. Your diet is not a Zulu diet. Your belief systems now are not Zulu. We speak English. We dress in fucking shame man, Manchester United. Yeah, when I was in the UK, I bought the... Hi, 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 hi. Hey, in the UK. I hope no one no ever fucking advise you guys overseas. I can't stuff. <laughs> They're not inviting us. We're going wherever we want to go now. We're going anywhere now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so for me, we've, we've lost it. And then some idiotic, and I'm going to hit the Zulu people. I'm, I'm lucky I can do this because I, I'm Zulu. I was raised Zulu. They're like, why do, you Zulu. why do you still speak as Zulu if you're no longer Zulu? I'm like, I'm not fucking British, but I speak English. It's a language of communication and connection. Yeah, so if yeah. I fucking wear uh, whatever from China, that means I'm, that's, again, it's because our thinking is so fucking clogged. It needs to open up. We need to move away from these labels if, if, they don't serve us. If my grandfather is Nelson Mandela, everywhere I go, I be like, you know Mandela, you know, the, because it opens doors. If my surname yeah. is, let's say, for example, a Zuma, and it's like, oh, Zuma's corrupt, he was arrested. Hey, you change your surname. You're like, hey, I'll fucking take my wife's surname. You be Kumalo. Aren't you Zuma? No, hey, I'm not Kumalo. Hey, you know Kumalo, hey. Yeah, because with the Mandela's, all the grandkids are like Mandela's, technically, they're not using their father's surname. They're not using their father's surname. All of them. Yeah, because, because the, Mandela because didn't, the had surname one son who died. carries weight. True. Because the surname carries weight. So things that no longer serve you, we're not fucking trees. We're not fucking stuck in the ground. Let's we were move. designed to move. Yeah. Our move. ancestors fucking moved. That's why we don't call ourselves the Ndu or the Nguni. Not because we hate it, because we're fucking sellouts. Because we've moved. Shaga came and he, in effect, colonized a group of people under an umbrella term of the Zulu people. You don't have to be fucking stuck there like you can't move. Fucking move. Why do you want to have, why do you want to have 20 kids? Is that in my bio? No, no, but you did bio? say that you don't drink, you don't smoke, but you really want to have a lot of kids. And you, how many do you have now? I'm a father of, um, let me put on my serious voice because fathers I'm into be. Uh, I'm a father of six very beautiful children, very healthy children, very happy children. I think that's very important that our kids are all with happy and mother. healthy. Yeah, with one mother. Huh? With one mother. How's he? I'm saying the mic. You tell me. You sound like a very appeller. How many? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. How many mothers? So uh, I have six children from four mothers. Wow. And I do have a desire to get to 20 children. Um, it's just an arbitrary number. To be honest, I just want a lot of children. Um, Again, oh, shout out to Soposa. Um, the short answer, officially on the record, is is no. Oh. And I'm only saying this to protect. By them. the way, the question was: Are you still with the mothers? Because your mic was off. Sorry. Oh, was it off? Yeah, I had turned it over. The vaccine is. Oh. <laughs> Where's the vaccine now? No. Oh. The fingers. It has pulled down the wrong fader. <laughs> we need that vaccine. Yo, vaccine scanner. <laughs> Chillers market. Anyone vaccine scanner? You know. Yes. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but guys, I don't know if there's anyone who still remembers this child, guys. Like it's good to have documented stuff like this because it's, it can always remind us where we come from. Like it was not so long ago where we were struggling about. COVID-19 vaccines where you couldn't literally go to a different country without vaccinating. You couldn't, uh, there was a point where they would like, you couldn't get a job without vaccinating. And I thought and felt even till today, that was like some sort of, like that was, a, that was bullshit, man. They were bullshit. You can't force a person to do that. And you, you would go to the end of taking their food because of, 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 of wanting to impose your, they thought, yeah, that's that could she, but yeah. So, so you're not no with the mothers. Okay. So officially on the record, um, I am not with the mothers, and I'm only saying this to protect them. Um, I have got the biggest respect for women, oh. in particular, not not necessarily just because I was largely raised by a single mom, but because Shut for up, me, man. you know, the whole gender thing is a conversation we yeah, need yeah. to have, because it's potentially destructive. My mom is incredibly strong. I see so many women that are fucking strong. The idea that I marry a strong woman and she has to take my surname, whose origin I don't even know, I think is rubbish. But out of respect for the mothers of my children, they have never asked for me to speak about them, to post them. And for that reason, I try to keep them away from my rubbish. Okay. It's just me. The one thing I will not respect if they were to ever ask, they've never asked, is don't post my kids, don't. I'm like, nah, fuck that. 
These are my kids as well. Yeah. So if I want to post them, if I want to speak about them, I will never hide my children. So why I'm do a you want to have kids? It goes back to the body thing, I think, and to what I was saying about how I see human beings. Part of the colonization project, some people call it the white supremacist project, was to divide us, make us hate each other, make us hate what we do, uh, mm -hmm. make us not see value in land, make us fight over tribal, gender, whatever the fuck, you know. Today, we've got a 40% graduate unemployment problem. Mm. Those are graduates. We've got a 72% youth unemployment problem. These are now not kids that are fucking crippled and can't walk and can't speak. These are fucking able-bodied human beings that can't fucking plant a tomato and just eat. That can't plant a tree. You plant a tree once and every year, winter, there's notches. There's We can't do that because our minds and our education has been stripped of us. So in the same way, I believe our bodies are the only assets we'll ever have. I believe that having children is the only real thing you can ever build that is worth something. The and only if, assets if you can leave behind. Some people want 20 cows. Some want 20 properties. Some want 50 Ferraris. You guys want all these fucking useless things. The most valuable thing on this planet, in this world we live in, is human beings. So why not make human beings and turn them into something special? Oh. And I oh. think, again, I'm a narcissist. And, and how do you guarantee I, that they'll turn into something special? Ah, there's no guarantee. How do you guarantee that the cow will survive winter? Hey. You don't. <laughs> Uzuma didn't know that he was going to have Tutuzane, for example, or Um, Angas Numukuku, the lady that's behind yeah. the wife and these other shows, uh, the production company. I think it's Stained Class. He didn't know, you know. I think, and Elon Musk, this is what yeah, he's trying Uzale, to say. She does as well, yeah. People don't get it. This is what Elon Musk is trying to say. And I'm going to articulate it in a way he hasn't. Poor. <laughs> yeah, I'll get dragged for this. Hope you're watching, Elon Musk. Jeez. Poor, ugly, <laughs> retarded, useless, dumb brain people fuck like there's no tomorrow. And they end up with eight, nine kids that have to fucking depend on the state. Useless. Good-looking, intelligent, innovative people end up with like one or two kids because it's the responsible thing to do. If you feel your genetics, LeBron James, Beyonce Knowles, Tiger, if you feel your genetics are worth something or the world feels they're worth something, go fucking breed. Oh, damn. Go find other great genetics and fucking breed so the world can be better. We need politicians and leaders today. They're not there because... The most talented kids, and I saw this in the last uh, um, episode as well, the most talented kids are leaving South Africa. Yeah. Go fucking breed and make amazing kids. There's no guarantee that they'll be great, but you'll just do your best as you do with anything else. And hope for that. But don't be like, I'm not going to have yeah. kids because I'm... Chances are if you're saying stuff like that, you're probably inferior and you're weak and you probably shouldn't have kids. So <laughs> fucking keep it to one or none. <laughs> but for the rest of us who think we fucking shit gold... Yeah. Go fucking make babies. Hey man, no one will, no one remember you. I need five of these motherfuckers by next year with different women. <laughs> fucking hell! I get you though, right? I mean, it's unpopular and people won't like it, and I understand it's why. It's very unpopular. It's an unpopular opinion. No, I I fully understand why. Look, the di the dynamics of the world we live in. I can't have kids. I don't have money. From four generations ago, we didn't have money. What's yeah, your view on money? You know, uh. I can't have kids. The world is a dangerous place. <sighs> Fuck, man. The world is probably the safest it's been in history. Really? With the things that happen out there, if I'm angry with Saul, I don't stab him with a spear. <laughs> if I want to fucking buy out McG's property, I do it like in a business way. I don't fucking come with my Hostile tribe takeover. and then come and murder him. Zulu. So today, yeah. like, it's, it's because of social media, it's because of mainstream media, and we're inundated with this shit. Oh my gosh, someone got killed. And even now, I'm waiting till the end of the year with these tavern killings. I'm waiting to see the murder stats. Because if they're not worse than last year, that means it was just fucking media propaganda. That's what happened with the COVID vaccine, Hot for air. example. When you looked at the data, you're like, but less people died this year. So what fucking pandemic are you talking about? Mm. This is propaganda. 6,600 people died in South Africa or were murdered, particular murder between January and March this year, three months. From February till June, which I think is about five months, about 4,000 people were killed in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. 6,000 here, we're not in a war zone. 4,000 there. 
but look at the mileage they're getting. Wow. You'd swear it's fucking bombing. Nah, so it's propaganda. So uh, I try and steer away from some of that fucking